Hey guys, this is Iman from Budapest. Uh, today I'm trying to demonstrate some antioxidant power or antioxidant capacity of the green teas that I used to drink. I hope you will enjoy this video as a complete cool demonstration of this reaction that we are doing in the lab. So here I have two types of green tea. One of them is a Japanese green tea, as you can see the bottle. I got it when I was in Tokyo. And this one is a Chinese one. Both of them are high quality premium green tea. I also have this fused tea as a sample to compare with our, with our green tea because you can buy this bottled green tea or iced tea things in the market. So we are going to see how different they are or how much effective they are in context of antioxidants. I have measured two gram of each of these samples so you can see the weights are quite okay and also the because it's very important to have a nice quantification about this measurement when it comes to the comparison. Okay now I have put my green tea samples in my cups and now I'm adding like 200 milliliter of 80 degree water so it was stop boiling like 10 minutes ago I try to be consistent with the volume I think they are more or less the same so we just wait a couple of minutes and then we will continue okay so now it's around four or five minutes that I'm brewing my green teas now I have another sample here which is this green tea from an ice iced tea bottled maybe it's, I think it's from coca-cola and I also have some the same water as I used to make my teas and here I have a purple color if it's visible material which is called DPPH this is a synthetic free radical that we are using to demonstrate or to measure the antioxidant property of different samples so what I would do is I will add two milliliters from this DPPH solution which was already dissolved in alcohol actually in ethanol and we will continue with the rest okay now I have two milliliter of my DPPH solution which is a free radical as I mentioned earlier and there are two milliliter of them in these little petri dishes and now what I would try to do is to get an equal quantity of these four different preparations so first I go to my boiled water and this is like 100 microliters so I just dropped it slowly in this solution you can see that there is some changes in color happening but not that much so I change my tips and then I go to my Japanese green tea I take again 100 microliter and now you can see that how this reaction is taking place it is also reminding me of this brownian motion that was noticed by Robert Brown yes which was also making Einstein busy to <laughs> for a while to find out the vibration of the atoms particle so now you can see that the reaction is taking place and I don't I go to my Chinese sample and here we will see again so you can see again that what is happening here I change my tips and then I go to my iced tea Okay. So practically what is happening is that this free radical is demanding some electrons to become stable. And what the green tea is doing, it's giving these electrons to these free radicals to make them stable. And this reaction is changing the color of the DPPH. So that's how by changing this by measuring the change in the color from purple to the yellow we can somehow observe the antioxidant power of the green teas or any kind of materials that we want to measure their antioxidant 
So here if I just move these things Yes, so it's quite obvious that so the water did not really do anything to this reaction but we can see that both the Japanese and Chinese green tea are really reducing this DPPH molecule and they're changing its color from purple to... And I can also see some effects in this iced tea but not as much pronounced as for the real green teas and of course that's natural because it's only a couple of maybe zero point some some two or three gram of plant extracts or the green tea extracts have been added to this sample so again I will add 100 microliter of my Japanese and another 100 microliter of my Chinese tea and we will again see that how the reaction is taking place yeah that's what is happening perhaps when we are eating or we are drinking the green teas in this case you can see how they are really neutralizing the free radicals and of course they contain a lot of molecules like a class of catechins that are famous and are believed to be the one which are responsible for this antioxidant properties of green tea okay I hope it would be an encouraging demonstration for all of us to drink at least a cup of good quality green tea every day. And if we compare, of course, this, this one we can also see that has some comparing to the water. So if I just put them close, changing the order, so we can see that even these ice cold green teas that are bottled and we can buy in the market they also have some antioxidant properties so i'm not really disappointed about that so after a while the people can measure these change differences differences in change of the color by spectrophotometric methods and then they can calculate that how strong is the antioxidant power of different materials okay have fun